Hey there, welcome to day 1668 of What She Up To Now. Sharon Hornells from here, documenting the business journey as I transitioned originally in 2017 from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And I actually left corporate in probably 2004, 2003, 2004. And just worked on the businesses that I had been running on the side while I worked simultaneously in corporate America for over a quarter century. And some really cool, awesome, uh, some of the biggest, best corporations on the planet, as well as some of the biggest privately held corporations in the world. And so I went into corporate America to learn about how big business did things, how they structured things, how they set things up, because I wanted to have my own big businesses someday. And I knew that the fastest, easiest way to learn about that was to be on the inside of those type of organizations. So today our topics for Supersize Your Business was we're doing confidence the month of August to coincide with the BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. And so we're focusing on confidence for the month of August. And today our topic was to pride yourself on something. And our idiom was to pride yourself on something for supersize your business. So I shared 25, 26 reasons to be proud of yourself and with respect to business in that particular group. Because we want to share something that we're really, really proud about that we're creating in the world and that we're doing with our business and growing our business. Maybe it's for supporting our family, our business is paying the bills. Each of our businesses are in different stages of growth and development. Uh, but we start a business because we want to pay the bills, we want to take care of our family and loved ones and ourselves. And then usually as it grows, our desires and our wants grow from there. And I work with people that want to make the world a better place. I want to make the world a better place. So <clears throat> that was our topic today and a lot of different things that we know that we should be proud of. And we talked about that. Our topic for the annual challenge today, day 230 already, was <clears throat> positive change. Now, change comes along all the time, but we want to find a way to make those changes positive and have a positive influence on our life. So I shared three cards. I'm willing to change. Uh, I'm in the process of making positive changes, and I have the power to make changes in my life. We talked about those. And then I shared seven tips and ways that you can make positive changes. Now we use the SOAP framework in the challenge and I've used it for a couple years now since the pandemic. Uh, came up with it to as a way to describe and make sure that we can automate the change process so that we're guaranteed to have a better result after we it, are impacted by a change than before that change happened down our life. So we share the SOAP framework. We've done it, this is our eighth time this year. And we'll do it an, another four times for sure this year. Uh, we did it uh, about every other month in 2020 and 2021. We did a 30 plus day challenge called the Get Up and Go Challenge. And that helped me and a lot of other people to make positive progress and positive change during the pandemic, which most people, if you ask them how the pandemic was for them, they don't have a whole lot of good or positive things to say about it. And so we wanted to make sure that we were pulling the positive out of that experience because there were a lot of good things came out of the pandemic. Not the way it was handled, not the way the media covered it, not the way uh, it impacted people's lives, not the mandates and the shutdowns, but there were a lot of positive things that came out of the pandemic in terms of, I mean, one of the things I noticed right away was when you drove around, people's yards and properties have never looked better. People finally had the time to spend on beautifying and cleaning and organizing and, and sorting things out in their house that they've never had the opportunity to do that before. All right, so those are the things we covered today. I am continuing to help my mom move. She's actually out of town for a few days with her sisters at one of their cabins, which I think is awesome when the, the sisters can get together because they are, I'm trying to think if they're all in their 80s yet, but I think not yet. Um, they're in their 70s and 80s, so it's awesome when they can get together. One from uh, Florida didn't make it up, but the other four are together. So that makes my heart happy. And it also gives me a break to focus and work on the things I'm doing with my house, my business, my family, uh, while she's away for a few days. Uh, yeah, the movers are coming Monday morning at 8. So we, we just found that out yesterday, and we're, we're a little panicked about it, but we got this. We're almost done. Uh, if I can help you in any way, hit me up and ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Think about things you're proud of. Think about your level of confidence and, and we're sharing and we're working on an area and I shared seven tips of how to be more confident and make positive change and how 
an area that you'd like to change your level of confidence in. Got any questions about any of that? Hit me up, otherwise I will be with you tomorrow. Have an absolutely fantastic day.